when Ella got injured, she had a brain injury when she was 18 months and we were recommended to get her started on all the therapies. Actually, I didn't think of music therapy as one of the important ones. I thought of uh, speech, I thought of uh, physical therapy, occupational therapy, and um, and it was eye-opening when Jennifer actually was the first one coming and uh, took over and that was the only times that I saw Ella come to life and, and know that something was happening around her because she was so, uh, she had such a regression that um, she wasn't aware of anything. I don't yeah. think she even recognized us. And music was... Uh, it, it, I remember crying almost every session because it was what made her come to life. As Issa said, she wasn't really even there for most of the therapies. Physical therapy, actually, she started to walk again pretty quickly, but in terms of the cognitive stuff, she just really didn't seem to have any interest. I mean. To my way of thinking, the thing that's been most exceptional about music therapy is it's the thing that she really wants to do. Uh, it's the place where she uh, feels yes. motivation, uh, She requests enjoyment. it by yeah. doing her little side yeah. of music, and she's yeah. excited the day she gets off the bus, and I say, yes, today there's music, Miss Haley's coming, and, and she, yay, one of her few words, because she still is nonverbal. Uh, but she is starting to have rhythm, and, uh, and yeah, music is, is her happy moment of the week. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, you try. Oh, good job, Ella. Yeah, a lot of little kids, would, you know, they live to get praise from their parents, right? For her, she could care less to show off. I mean, it, you know, there was no real motivation to, to get that kind of uh, positive feedback, except with music therapy. And Lisa's more of an expert on this than I am by, by a long shot, but, you know, come out after the session and, uh, and listen to you have the conversation yeah. with the therapist about what she did well and all yeah. that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. She would realize that she was being praised and, and, and she still does and I think she looks forward to that. But now she looks forward to the videos and and see herself doing things and, and uh, she does them on her own and, and uh, it's it's really the, the one uh, communication that comes out naturally. And go! Whoa! Yeah, the, the strumming on the guitar, I was, I mean, uh, she's been doing music therapy for, what, 12 years now? Mm -hmm. But even I was amazed by how she kept the rhythm with the, the strumming of the guitar, and now all she wants to do is dance all the time, which yeah. is certainly uh, an offshoot. First of all, I didn't even know it could be a therapy. I, I had never heard music therapy. And uh, when they suggested it, literally I thought, well, that's at the bottom of my list. I want her talking, I want her walking, I want her understanding things, so we're gonna do all the other therapies, and if we must, we'll do music. And, and it really, it really, music therapy holds everything. It, it has speech. It has uh, occupational therapy. It has the physical component. And 
it, it, it blew us away that the one that we thought was going to be the least helpful to her is actually the one that has been a constant since the day she got uh, came home from the hospital to, to today and it has everything and we've been with the bonus that there uh, be where uh, Jennifer created and, and brought in the most amazing therapist we, we feel like they're family Jennifer is family and, yeah, and her family is our family, family. Right, right. Um, she she loves Ella genuinely and we love her and we care about her family she cares about our family not just Ella everybody so so and then every therapist that has come along is is the same you know we we're sad to see them go but we know that somebody else great is gonna come along and, and that's been the case every time I would love to see her talking that that is my main goal goal is that she would find a way to express uh, her feelings and her thoughts and 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 let us know what what she thinks because it's really hard to to know if something's hurting or if she's uh, uh, unhappy because of um, you know somebody did something or said something or if she could let us know if music could help her talk that would be my number one thing and yeah and it's already started to a very sort of slow degree and it's improved mm -hmm. to a sort of imperceptibly slow degree so I think there, yeah. there's reason for hope too. People need to realize that this is the therapy that gets them going, gets them moving, gets them understanding and makes them feel part of, of, of the community in the sense of music is everywhere and, and uh, she hears it wherever she is and she'll, she'll her eyes light up. Tap, tap, your rhythm sticks. Ella, tap. Tap along with me.